Lance Stevenson is returning to the NBA. Yeah, boy! Let's talk about it. You are listening to You're Basketball listening Talk with Independent Raw. A podcast that gives you the latest basketball, the basketball news, basketball news, basketball news, basketball news basketball interviews, 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 and topics, and, and, much, and, much, and much more. Much more. So without further ado, so without put, further your hands hands put your hands together. Okay, former NBA player Lance Steven has Stevenson returned to the NBA on a 10-day contract with the Atlanta Hawks. And for those that was wondering where have Lance been, he was out in the G League playing for a team named the Grand Rapids Gold. And for those who who don't know who the Grand Rapid Gold is, you're not alone. But I'm just going to assume that this is the affiliate team of the Atlanta Hawks. I guess that's their affiliate team, but I stand to be corrected. Anyway, Lance played with these guys for 12 games and averaged about 19.8, so you can say that's 20 points, uh, 20 points a game in 35 minutes. And now that he's returning to the NBA on a 10-day contract, the million dollar question we all like to ask is, will Lance stick with the Atlanta Hawks or is he just having a cup of coffee in the NBA? And I ask that for one because because of this NBA COVID safety protocol thing, the way the new rules is written in that if you have a player who who uh, contracts COVID, you are allowed to go and sign another player to replace that player. So now, when these players begin to return, do the uh, Atlanta Hawks just look at Lance and say, have a nice day, thank you for your services? Or will they find a roster spot for him? So before I ask that question, I want to go into the pros and the cons of Lance Stevenson's career. So I like to start with the pros. If we look at the pros of having Lance Stevenson, one of the things that first pops out of my mind is that he's still 31 years old. I know Lance seemed like he's been around forever, but nope, Lance Stevenson is still 31 years old. Another pro is he has NBA experience. He's done played on several teams, and I'm emphasize several teams. And to even go dig a little deeper into that, he's played with Indiana, he's played with Charlotte, he's played with the Clippers, he's played with Memphis, he played with New Orleans, he played for Memphis, he played for the LA Lakers. Now he's playing for the Atlanta Hawks. So Lance has plenty of NBA experience. That is a pro. Further. Moving further than that, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I really can't think of many more pros I could think of of having Lance Stevenson. Now, so let's get to the cons. One of the biggest cons of having Lance Stevenson, and mind you, I have not seen him play since he played with the Lakers in the old in the night. Uh, that's the 18 and 2019 season. So what I'm about to say strictly comes from that. One of the biggest cons of having Lance Stevenson is he does not do nothing particularly excellent. He has no specialty is what I'm saying. He's not a great shooter. He's not a great defender. He's not the greatest facilitator. So you'll never have to worry about him winning no uh, NBA assist leader awards. And he does none of these things particularly well. He does things good. But Lance Stevenson does not have no specialty. And I think that that's the main reason why he has he's bounced around the NBA. When he was in Indiana, I feel like he was in a great system for his game. And they basically took what he was able to give them. But now that he's moving on in his travels, Lance is going to have to be able to lock something down and own it as what he does well. And thus far, he has not done that. We all know he's not a great scorer. In all the years that he's played in the NBA, I think the 2015-2016 was his highest scoring year. And that's when he played for Memphis where he averaged 14 points. And to be honest with you, he only had two seasons where he averaged double figures. That was the 2015-2016 season and the 2013-2014 season when he played with the Indiana Pacers. So he's not a scorer. Despite what he would, you know, the antics he was trying when he was playing against LeBron James in that, uh, in that playoff series, he's not a great lockdown defender. And hopefully, the years out that he has been out the NBA, hopefully he has learned 
that he need to be able to claim something. So that way, when a team needs outside shooting, they'll think of him. When a team needs this or team needs that, they'll think of him. Right now, why do the NBA need Lance Stevenson? Which is why I personally think that, and, and we're going to talk about outside the politics that go in the NBA, but I personally think that when the players come back for Atlanta, I think he's out of there. I really do. I think he's out of there. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to be honest with you, Lance Stevenson is loved by New Yorkers. He's loved by New Yorkers. And we go to Minnesota, California, go down to Florida. I don't think nobody down there talking about no damn Lance Stevenson. I think he's loved by New Yorkers because we understand the history of what he did in high school. I think that's why we love Lance Stevenson. And not just that, we naturally want to see New Yorkers do well in the NBA. So when you get a guy that could be a high school legend, that could be a street ball legend, we just naturally gravitate to that player and we root for them. Kind of like Skip to my Lou. Lance falls into that same category. But like, let's face it. Here's a guy that came in in 2010 to 2011, averaged three points. Went down to 2.5, 8.8, 13.8, 8.2, 4.7, 14.2, 9.7, 3.5, 7.2, 9.2, 7.9, and have a career average of 8.6. Anybody anywhere else we would not be talking about. So when the news came out that Lance Stevenson was returning to the NBA, trust me, a lot of people got excited, especially people from Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, I am not shitting on one of your folk heroes. I'm just keeping it real. Lance Stevens is loved because he's from the city. He's from the city of New York. So when you ask me, will he stick with the Atlanta Hawks? No, he's having a cup of coffee. If he gets to the game, New Yorkers better appreciate whatever he do or whatever whatever he gives us. Because this may be the last time we see this man. Lance Stevenson, I wish you luck. I am a fellow New Yorker. I hope you make the best of your 10-day contract. Because I know damn well you don't want to be down there playing at this G League. But you're going to have to find something or figure out what can you own. I want to see improvements. I don't usually watch the Atlanta Hawks until they play a team that I want to see. But now I'm going to keep my eye on them for the next 10 days because what I know he has to get in the game. And I want to see if there have been an improvement. Have you worked on your jump shot? What about your defense? Have you became a better facilitator? What about your personality? Because if you're the same Lance Stevenson that you was in 2018, 2019, make sure you enjoy your coffee. And with that, I'm Independent Rob. You're listening to Basketball Talk with Independent Rob. I want to thank you for listening. See you soon.